Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next attack strategy video. And this is the Bowler Miner combo for Town Hall 11. I did make one for Town Hall 10 a while back, but it's so much different at Town Hall 11, it definitely needs its own attack strategy video. So in this video, I'm gonna show uh, the tips kind of the keys for this attack strategy to make it work. We'll take a look at one of the attacks that didn't work out so well and why it didn't work out as well as it could have why it didn't get the three star in addition to some of the attacks that were successful. So anyway, before I get too much in detail, let me know what you think of the intro, the outro, and the background music in the comments below. If it's too cheesy or if you like it, I'm interested to see what you guys say about that. So let me know below. But taking a look at this strategy, you'll notice that it's a hybrid attack between bowlers and miners, and you're going to see a kill squad go in to get the Inferno Tower, one of the Infernos, and the Eagle taken out. Those are the two important buildings, plus the CC troops, the Queen, some other defenses or bonuses. But those are the main things that you're going to see taken out by the kill squad. And one important thing to note is that the Warden goes in with the heroes on the kill squad and you use the warden's ability on your bowlers on your kill squad not on your miners and the reason for that is that the miners have the heal spells they have the ability to go underground their health isn't as much in jeopardy as the bowlers that initial push with your kill squad is the critical time in the attack where you need the warden's ability where it gets so much value for that three or four seconds that it lasts it gets you a ton of value because you have the eagle, you have the inferno, you have the CC troops, the queen, the king, all that stuff attacking your kill squad. The bowlers are going to go down pretty quickly unless you use the warden's ability at that point in time. So make sure that you use the warden and his ability on your kill squad. And if you're lucky, he'll peel off onto the miners near the end of the attack and give them the general health, uh, the general health, bu health buff that he has. Uh, just without his eternal tomb so if you're lucky he'll peel off onto the miners but the main thing is use that warden's ability during the kill squad that's important looking at this first attack by uh, memo or mimo uh, comes in with that golem to tank for the point defense because there was so much initial point defense drops down the three heroes and the bowlers you can see right here the cc troops the uh, eagle the inferno everything's going in there the Warden's ability was a tad early because it'll wear off before the Inferno goes down. Typically that's not the best thing, but the Miners are already entering the base. Good early deployment there. Uh, gonna tank for each other adjacent deployment. Like I've said, that's the best way to do it. Uh, get great value and that helps your kill squad stay up longer. But uh, there's still quite a bit of his uh, kill squad left up. The Heroes just took out the uh, um, Eagle Artillery. One of the Infernos is already down and uh, like I said, at this point in time, it's pretty much a Town Hall 10 base. Now, this isn't the best base, granted, but it's not that much of a threat to your miners. You don't need the Warden's ability as long as you have the heal spells. Typically, two to three heal spells will get the job done. So that you can see the Warden has peeled off onto the miners because he typically gravitates towards big groups of troops. And uh, that's all you need is that little health buff that the Warden gives when they're in his radius and uh, you can see he's doing a great job there. The queen goes down but the main thing is that he has the miners left up and they'll make their way through the base. Did a great job with the kill squad and as a result the miners will just kind of have a smooth sail through the rest of the base. We can go times two. He's actually going to swag this last heal which is awesome for a Town Hall 11 3 star. So we'll take a look at maybe a slightly better base and uh, then we'll take a look at one failed attack and talk about why it wasn't as successful as the first two. So awesome attack to uh, Memo, I guess I'll call it, and uh, let's move on to the next one. Okay, so we have, as always, two taken on this base, and if you're wondering about the loss, that was to an engineered clan. Uh, not making excuses, we, sh we still should have won the war, but uh, definitely made it a lot harder, and uh, it's tough against those engineered clans. Don't want to talk too much about it. Let's focus on the attacks, though. Once again, a golem for all that initial point defense. That's a good idea when there's so many point defense right at the start of the attack. Um, so the golem goes down. Warden behind has some bowlers. Uh, same stuff here. The heroes go down. Everything moving on in. And uh, as always, does a great job with the warden's ability. Right here in the critical time when the bowlers are getting low on health, pops that ability, and those four seconds get so much value. Three or four seconds, however long it lasts. The eagle goes down and uh, actually has a split deployment on his miners, which is something you can do. And because he has four heals, he can delegate two heals to each group of miners. So that helps him allow uh, the spread deployment on either side. Uh, has the heal, they'll get in there and they'll each get an Inferno Tower. So 
one of the rare exceptions to the Inferno Tower rule. He actually doesn't get an Inferno taken out with his Kill Squad, but he gets the Eagle, which is pretty important, gets the Heroes, gets the CC Troops, a big chunk of the base taken out, the Miners each get an Inferno Tower, each group does, and has the uh, second heal for each group. Uh, once they deal with these wizard towers and stuff, you can see because he deployed his miners adjacent to his kill squad, um, the kill squad is pretty much still left up because they weren't flanked by any defenses, and uh, he'll have a ton of troops left up at the end of this attack. You can see how powerful this really is at Town Hall 11. We'll go ahead and go times two. Has the queen's ability left over, ton of troops left up. Awesome attack to as always. Um, this is a little bit of a shorter attack strategy. Just couldn't find that many attacks. Um, only had one war to work with. So my apologies for that, but we'll take a look at one failed attack because I know, uh, especially based on what you guys said in the survey, that always helps to see. So we'll look at Shy Guy with a, a good try against this base, definitely a very high level base, but I think the Queen Walk, and don't get me wrong, I'm a big fan of Queen Walks, especially at Town Hall 10 and 11, I think they can get some great value, but for this attack, I don't think it adds anything to the kill squad. You know, you get a few point defense taken out, maybe a few splash damage, but the main things with your kill squad are the CC troops, the eagle, the inferno tower, and the heroes. That's so much more important than any point defense. I think that the, um, what is it, 14 times 4, that's like 56, I think. That's a lot of troop space to invest in healers, and you can see that the Queen Walk only gets a very small amount of the base taken out. He actually didn't even use a Rage, but sometimes you need to use a Rage, which is just wasting one spell in my opinion on this attack. But anyway, um, not adding a whole lot to healers at this point, the Warden's ability is there anyway to protect the health, so you don't need the healers that much for a health boost, especially with the Inferno up and everything. So you can see uh, he only has 19 miners as a result. The kill squad doesn't get any more value really. They still go down at the same point I guess. Now the queen is going to be up a little longer because the healers stay on her. But I think the main thing is that you'll notice there's not nearly as many miners and I think that definitely hinders the attack. Now maybe it wouldn't have worked even if he didn't do a queen walk. That might be true. Uh, just wasn't the right attack for the space or whatever. But I think the queen walk definitely didn't help. And in general, I, I don't think it does help on these attacks. I think you want to have at least, you know, 25 miners or so. Uh, that's very important to have a big group of miners because things are so high HP at Town Hall 11. You need them to move through quickly so they continue get, to get that heal benefit um, when they go underground. You need them taking out the buildings as quickly as possible so they dip underground as much as possible. Uh, sorry about that. So, um, I'll even lose my train of thought. But anyway, I don't think the Queen Walk is worth it because it takes up that troop space that could otherwise be invested in miners. Now sometimes, you know, you can see that you'll have an awesome opportunity to do a great Queen Walk and um, my group me notifications going off. But sorry, uh, you can see that there's, that there'll be an awesome opportunity to do, to do a Queen Walk and if that's the case, go for it. But most of the time, if it's only to take out a few point defense, a few wizard towers, a few mortars, uh, typically it's not going to be worth it in my opinion for this attack strategy. Maybe other attack strategies it will, but not for this one. So that's, I think, what contributed to the uh, failure here by Shy Guy. Nice attack though. Hopefully this video helps you Town Hall 11s out there. And uh, it's very powerful as you saw by the first two attacks when it's executed correctly. And I think that this definitely shows that Town Hall 11 has a very rich future with some nice three star attempts uh, in the future. So awesome attack to the three guys really at Genesis who uh, were in this video. Hope you guys liked it and once again be sure to let me know what you think of the new video format in the comments below. See you guys later. Bye. Sectatron out.